Okay, so I know I looked really enthused, but I have literally done this at least 10 times and it has not, something keeps, I just, ugh, it's just been crazy. But anyways, um, hopefully this 11th time is the charm. What we're doing is I just thought it would be easier to show instead of tell you how to um, do East Bed reports because I know that when I hear things, I don't remember how to do it. So um, the first thing you're going to do is go to East Bed. And what we're going to talk about is just how to do simple reports, nothing um, too complex. Just if a teacher is like, hey, I need this document or I've lost this or the principal says, can you give me this schedule or the counselors? I need these star scores, which happens all the time. It will happen more and more as we get to the second semester and star comes up and all of those things. So I want you to know or at least be able to figure out how. Sorry, <laughs> how to um, pull these reports. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Eastbed. Dot com. I don't even think it's called eSped anymore. I just call it that because when I started teaching, um, that's what it was called. So whatever. Um, the first thing you're going to log in. So we log in. And it's been going so slow today, so I'm sorry. So sign in. Okay, when you get here, this is exactly what you should see because this is a teacher account. I created it um, because at first I started using my account and it was so confusing because it has a lot more screens. Uh, it's crazy. I'm still learning. It's the the admin account. They need to just, I don't know, they need to do something. Anyway, so um, you're going to go to special ed and art forms. So like I said, this is just a simple report. Let's say um, just pull up any student that you need. Um, you can sort it by campus. Mine, I think it's a fake student because I wanted to be able to actually show you. So um, I'm just going to go to them. And I click it, and when you get here, it has a list of reasons. Um, make sure that you're kind of paying attention to this because if for some reason this was pulled, you need to make sure that you're verifying why because, you know, the only reason you should be looking at student records is if there's a need to. So here's some reasons why, for example, if you're an inclusion teacher and you've never built Medicaid or anything like that before, please don't be. Don't, please don't put that you're needing it, Medicaid information. So, I mean, um, there's a few that you'll always use. I'm writing the student's IEP. I provide services and I'm reading it or I'm updating the progress or I'm reviewing for, um, compliance. So let's just say that that's what we're doing today. We need a schedule to make sure or we need star scores to, or star information to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do on our end. So the first thing you're going to see is just basic student info. You're going to, when you come to this drop down, you're going to see all this stuff. You're not going to use most of this stuff. The most of this is your diagnostician is going to use this, um, or um, a transition person or speech paths, just those people. As a teacher, you're going to use the same ones over and over and over and over again. Um, the goals 17. That's where you're going to put in what they're going to be working on, and that should be where your information about what they're doing now is. Then you have 12 is the development of IEP and transition. That's where you're going to put present levels and teacher input. 18 and 19, that's the accommodation. So everything that they're receiving in the classroom or it's on these pages. Their star. As what they're taking, um, if it's going to be online, um, if it's an EOC, those types of things are here with their accommoda on 27 and then their accommodations for the same test is on 28. So um, most of the time that matches to the classroom, a few exceptions, but it's right there. Um, and also their schedule of services. How could I forget? It's right there. It's 37, 38, and 40. So let's start here on 37 and I'll show you what that looks like. So if we were wanting to print that, we could just go to 37 schedule of services and just press preview and it would pop up. But I kind of want to go and explain what you're seeing. So this page 37, this is just like data points for PIMS and um, your diagnostician as far as ESY, extended school year, if they receive special transportation and how many minutes per day are they going to school? That way we can calculate, you know, what's their PIMS coding. So.
that it's just kind of you're not gonna really care about that but it's there this page 38 this is where their resource minutes would be at least in that's how we're doing it here in our districts we're going to put um, resource here the setting so this kid here i just did this earlier when my first one of my first 10 attempts um because they didn't have a schedule and i just put this in so 390 minutes a day is how you would read this of algebra one all school year in the special ed life skills room and that's all year i mean i would hate to be this kid but whatever um, apparently they have all the credits and they just need some some math um so yeah that's what resource would look like in here if you go to 40 this is where your inclusion times would be so this student doesn't have any inclusion time yay um I'm going to put in so you can see what it looked like. Let's say that they are getting inclusion support in math for 20 minutes three times a week and they're in a group setting and this is going to be in the general ed classroom and this is going to start in the second semester. So you, you can, don't go in here and just change these things like this is an art decision. I'm just showing you for <laughs> just this video's purposes how this would look if they did have it so please 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 don't do that okay so um so if they have inclusion this is what you would see so like i said before if you want to print a simple report that has this on there um you can go to any of the three schedule pages that i listed and um press preview it takes a second but um it's a lot quicker than the other option I'm going to show you in a minute. And there you can see everything. You can see all the pages if you're on any of those pages in Press Preview. So here's the resource and here's the inclusion. And you can download with this button, print here. And if you want to share it on email, you just download and then email it out. So there's that. So um, there's also this button here. It says print archive. So obviously you're going to press that first you go to the screen you're gonna buy oh it should be easy i'll just print from here but when you go to the screen you're gonna see all of these you're like what is this and i just need that report and i need it five seconds ago because my principal they're just they want it now and i have kids coming don't freak out <laughs> it's right here you just you can just go to schedule of services it's an abc order and let's say you're like, okay, they, if they need the schedule, they probably need the accommodation. So I'm going to press, while that's highlighted, the schedule, because we definitely need that, I'm going to press CTRL in the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to click accommodations. I'm going to click goals. We need, and let's just say, let's just go ahead and give them a star. They need all those things. They, they may not know they need it, but they need it. So we're going to click those. And I'm going to click print final copy. So I'm going to click that and like I said, this takes a little bit longer than just previewing. So and so we get there and the reason it's blank is that we don't have accommodations for this kid. But if we did, that would be here. Um, this is a goal. Um, someone had just put that in and their schedule. So they didn't have any star stuff. So that's why I didn't print. So when you get this, you can, like I said, download, you can print, um, and then whenever you're done, you're going to close viewer, and then when you get here, press do not archive, because if you archive it, it's going to go into our archive reports, which is like all of our official documents, and we're going to be like, why is this in here? Did somebody change? We're going to be confused, so just don't do that. Just say do not archive. And then you're going to come back here and then hopefully you're done. Hopefully no one asks you for anything else, but we know that that's not going to happen. So I will. Okay. I got to go. So there you go. If you have any questions, please, please, please um, email me and I will help you out.